when I envision what I want to do with the rest of my life and the kind of legacy that I want to leave, this is something that really, really resonates. It's about people helping people. Sometimes uh, that's something I think that we all have the power to get behind. And being here and being a part of this organization is really a true honor. And I relish the opportunity to share some of my experiences with you and spend some time getting to know many of you and have you share your experiences with me because you're my kind of peoples. And one person alone, me alone, you alone, is not people. We're just, we're not as effective, we're not as wise, we're not as curious or efficient as we are when we work together. And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned um, through this work. At Thrive, we strive not simply to offer food or shelter, which are no doubt important, but rather fill a different need, the need to have an identity and be recognized and be heard. We take our agenda from the people we are trying to help. We are asking them, what do you want to say? How do you want to be heard? How do you want to be helped? The Thrive Center we're building and operating is a place for those seeking healing, connection, and self-expression a place where people can go to develop a sense of dignity and share their humanity. Times in my day when I could probably find 50 other different things to do are now easily, overwhelmingly directed towards answering one question. How can we further fulfill our commitment to our friends in Gulu and expand the work, programs, and solidarity being created at Thrive? Working for social justice has been, for me, a transformative experience. It's brought me more happiness and purpose than anything I've ever done in my entire life, and I really mean that. I applaud all of you, and it is such a privilege to be in your company. Working together, we must continue to take the reins. We must continue to commit ourselves to service. There's no us and them. We are all in this together.